For today's quiz, we're gonna be talking about firearms. In rural communities, firearms are a typical part of hunting. Often these firearms will end up shooting a bullet at a target or the animal that they're hunting. At the same time, the shell gets ejected horizontally out uh, of the side of, of the apparatus. So our question is, if we're using one of these like semi-automatic um, firearms, if the bullet goes out and the, and the shell comes out the side at exactly the same time, which would hit the ground first? Here's what your quiz looks like. As always, mark your confidence and the reasoning behind your explanation. Let's go over some typical student responses. The first is the bullet's going very, very fast. So fast that it's gonna eventually get wherever it's going nearly immediately. So the bullet would hit the ground first. Others would say, no, 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 the shell only has to fall a short distance and therefore the shell would hit first. Others are saying, I don't think you can know. It's impossible to know. You haven't told us the height of the table. You haven't told us the distance that this uh, bullet is going. So many say it's impossible to answer. In order to test something like this, clearly we're not going to use a real firearm, but we can end up making an apparatus that's going to uh, be similar. If I were to have a spring-loaded uh, plunger here, and I could pull this back into like a cocked position. You can see the spring is gonna provide the impetus to uh, move this plunger forward. If I were to pop this forward like this, this plunger will end up going forward. At the very front of this apparatus, I could take a ball and I could put that, and that could simulate uh, like our bullet coming out of the barrel. At the same time, if I had another one of these that I could slip on the back, there's a hole in uh, this particular sphere. As the plunger went forward, this would end up falling straight down. This would simulate our shell. This would simulate our bullet, so I could kind of put the whole apparatus together uh, with each sphere like that. Now all I need to do is flip this up. The shell will fall down while the bullet would go forward. So we could end up, we could end up making uh, the spring stronger and stronger and stronger to make it go faster and faster and faster if we'd like. So that's the apparatus that we're going to use. Let's set it up. To help us think through this problem before we actually launch this, uh, we can think of uh, taking a uh, still motion uh, photography every second or so or tenth of a second, whatever it might happen to be. And we could think of the shell as falling down, just like a ball would fall down. All objects fall at the same rate. We can show that the shell is falling a particular distance, and that distance increases every second. At the same time, we could say that this ball is going equal distance every time. So this distance equals this distance, this distance, and this distance. They're all the same. Think of this as firing up in space. We would end up having once you come out of the barrel, a nice constant velocity that would go on forever and ever and ever. But what's happening to this is the same thing that's happening to the shell. Gravity is still pulling down. And we could figure out what the projectile would actually look like. I have these measured evenly spaced 10 centimeter marks. These are going to end up being an acceleration rate. I can start to connect where these would actually be. This would be at the same height as that fall. This shell would correlate with the bullet being here and the next one down. And finally, the next one here. And we make a parabola. And this is the motion of having an accelerating axes with a non-accelerating axis. In other words, in the x direction, we don't have an acceleration. In the y direction, we have a force of gravity and therefore an acceleration. Both are going to be uh, acted upon by gravity and therefore we would expect both of these to end up hitting at the same time because gravity acts 
on all objects and whatever happens in the x-axis has no bearing on the y-axis and vice versa. Let's actually set this up and see if we can see it. All right, I have the apparatus here. Here's the shell of, um, that's placed on the back end of the plunger, and here is our spear that would get knocked off. Hopefully we'll be able to see this. I'll stand over here, flip this, the quote bullet will fly in that direction, and the shell should fall down right here. Hopefully we'll be able to pick this up. On the count of three, one, two, And I think you can at least hear that they're hitting at exactly the same time. They literally bounce at the same time. So the answer, of course, is the shell and the bullet hit the ground at the same time. And that's your quiz for today.